Remember how we derived the angle, subtraction, and addition formulas using the law of cosines? This is an alternative way to go about it. We'll begin with a set of axes and, of course, a unit circle. Now we put in a triangle, and it has a central angle A, and note that its hypotenuse is length 1. This means we know the sides of the triangle. The long leg is cosine A, and the short one is sine A. Up to now, everything's been pretty straightforward. But now we're going to rotate the whole triangle through an angle B. When we do that, you can see that there's an angle A plus B in the lower left. A plus B is the central angle of a new triangle whose hypotenuse is also 1. That means its legs are cosine A plus B and sine A plus B. This is really great, because the whole point of this exercise is to figure out the sine and cosine of the sum of two angles. Now, in our diagram, we have the cosine of A plus B and sine of A plus B, but let's concentrate on the cosine. We can find the cosine this way. Drop a perpendicular from the green triangle, then we'll find the distance out to the perpendicular and back to the cosine. We add the first, subtract the second, we should get cosine A plus B. We'll start by concentrating on the right-hand arrow, the one that extends from the origin to the vertical line. Let's replace that area with a triangle of its own. This one has a hypotenuse of cosine A from before and a central angle of B. We want the length of that segment along the x-axis. Let's call it x and do some Sokotoa to find it. The hypotenuse of this triangle is cos A. It just takes a little algebra to find out that the length of x is that cosine a times cosine b. That gives us the distance out to the dotted line. Now all we need is the distance back to the blue triangle. How long is that arrow? Well, we can find it in the diagram up above. It's the same length as this dashed line. To find its length, we need a new triangle whose hypotenuse is sine a. Now to solve that triangle, we need some angles. We'll start at the bottom and use good old-fashioned geometry beginning with angle B. Up here, we have vertical angles whose measure is 90 minus B. Now over here on the right, we have a right angle, which means the angle up at the top is also B, the same as the angle at the bottom. Now we're ready to find the length of that dotted line. The hypotenuse is sine A, the angle is B, so the length of the dotted line is sine A times sine B. And that's just the length of the arrow. So now we can combine our results. The cosine of A plus B is the right arrow, cosine A cosine B, minus the left arrow, sine A sine B. And we're done.